Hey guys, I just want to show you real quick how I go about sharpening a charcoal pencil. I don't use a normal sharpener, I just use a blade. I have here um, my other pencils in a little container where my shavings can fall. So the goal of this is to shave off part of the wood here so that I can see a lot more of the charcoal exposed. That way I can have a sharper point and I can have like a flat side of the charcoal that I can use to create kind of like a side of tone and a whole area of tone. I'm gonna hold the pencil like this with my pointer finger on my left hand if you're right-handed underneath the pencil and with my left thumb I'm gonna push the blade up through the pencil like that and I'm slowly gonna work my way around the wood little by little until I start to expose part of the pencil part of the the charcoal. Keep in mind the charcoal tends to be soft and it breaks a lot and it breaks easily. So if it starts to um, break on you, just try to be a little more patient with it. Um, sometimes you can't really help it and you have to just try again and try again. Some pencils are just broken on the inside anyway. So little by little, more delicately each time, I'm trying to show more of the charcoal here. You see, I've got a good amount of showing here, but I want just a little bit more. Hopefully I don't get too greedy and break it, but little by little, just trying to shave off that wood to expose more of the charcoal. After this, I'm going to start shaving down the charcoal to a fine point, the actual tip, and I might bring in some sandpaper, a fine grit sandpaper to be able to help sharpen it up and rub off some of that charcoal to a point. So actually this works with any blade you wanna use and with any type of pencil you wanna use as well. You do it with um, graphite pencils too. But um, it's definitely useful for charcoal pencils especially because you get to use the side of the pencil for the tone. This is a General's Charcoal 4B Soft charcoal pencil, compressed charcoal. It's my go-to. I use this for all of my drawings and I use it for, I don't use any other pencil besides this. And a stick of compressed charcoal, a kneaded eraser and a blending stump. That's about everything I use besides pan pastel. So I'm pretty satisfied now with how much of the charcoal is showing. You see it's kind of rough. I want to have it thicker at the end and more narrow towards the towards the, or well, thicker at the base and more narrow towards the end so that it can come to a point. I'm gonna slowly start to take off some of that charcoal. A good tip that I have for this is that I'm slowly spinning the charcoal and slowly spinning the pencil as I rub off the charcoal so that I get a nice even taper through the entire pencil. The entire end of the charcoal so that it's not like lopsided or anything like that that kind of helps do it don't push too hard make sure that you're really gentle with it or else you're gonna end up breaking and then having to start all over which happens to me all the time but the more patient and gentle you are the higher the more likely it is that you'll actually end up completing this task without breaking the charcoal So if you get any like art kit at the store, sometimes it comes with these like, like charcoal kits where you could just take off a little piece of sandpaper and you can start to rub off some of the end or you could just draw on like directly onto the sandpaper like this while you rotate it. And you'll slowly start to develop a, an edge on the pencil. Sometimes I like to just kind of make like a a shape there and like roll it in slowly. Make sure you're constantly rolling it because otherwise you'll get uneven. I'm not very good at this, but it's very important that I do it for my drawings. There's plenty of people that do this way better than I do, but I know there's not a lot of information on how to do this and I learned from some of my old colleagues and art teachers.
that is just something that's really useful to me. So I wanted to read this to know how to do this. Check that out, it's all nice and sharp now. It's not perfect, but it'll definitely do the job. Really sharp at the end. Got a good side angle to be able to put down some tone. Here it is in action. I got a piece of artist cover here. Here's a tip. See the fine lines I can make using the side of it, creating some tone. And then back to fine lines and then back to tone. Fine lines, tone. Isn't that awesome? Look at that. 